this was a triumph. I'm making a note here, huge success. It's hard to overstate my satisfaction. Aperture science. We do what we must because we can. For the good of all of us, except the ones who are dead. But there's no sense crying over every mistake. You just keep on trying until you run out of cake. And the science gets done, and you make a neat gun for the people who are still alive. I'm not even angry. I'm being so sincere right now. Even though you broke my heart and killed me, you tore me to pieces and threw every piece into a fire. As they burned, it hurt because I was so happy for you. Now these points of data make a beautiful line. And we're out of beta, we're releasing on time. So I'm glad I got burned to think of all the things we've learned for the people who are still alive. to run there is research to be done on the people who are still alive and believe me i am still alive and while you're dying i'll be still alive i feel fantastic and i'm still alive and when you're dead i will be still alive still alive Yo, 
What up, people? How we doing out there? It's good to see you guys. What's up, Kudo? Hey, Twinkie. Hey, Liz. Wiz plays it. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. Hollow Badger, I see. How's it going? Hey, I'm Jay Herder Brand. What's up? Hey, so yesterday we played some skate. Skate one. And, uh... God, I'm such a noob. And now it's formally immortalized for the entire world to see again and again on YouTube. Forever. So, yeah. That happened. Uh, so if you're watching this on Twitch right now, make sure you subscribe to YouTube. And if you're watching this on YouTube later, make sure you subscribe to Twitch or follow whatever you like. Uh, what's up, May? So I thought we would just continue with our skate playthrough today. Uh, I didn't really have a plan for tonight or this week, really. But I think I had fun. So I don't know. I, I think people may want me to play Tony Hawk more. But to be honest, like so many people ask me about the skate games and what I think and if I'm playing them or if I'm going to play them. So I thought I would appease those people and myself uh, maybe we can finish it today is what i'm getting at um if we don't i don't know we'll play it by ear because we still want to play through skate 2 and skate 3 um and there's plenty of other games to play too so anyway uh thank you guys for being here and uh let's get into it shall we oh yeah this is the 8-bit big band as always make sure you guys uh uh toss them a, a sub on youtube all this stuff is like dmca free and it's like just uh great stuff so, uh, yeah, make sure you leave him a comment. Tell him that Andy Thippus sent you. You're one of those people, right on Kudo. It's good to see you, man. Did you end up streaming last night? After I streamed yesterday, I was totally beat. I was tired. Okay, President William Taft with the two months. Thanks, man. Nice, dude. Okay. So as always, uh, this is on a PS3 emulator um, because my Xbox 360 won't read discs anymore. And uh, this has a bunch of music in it, doing all the goal intro cams and exit cams and the main menu and this stuff. And so uh, we're going to be riding the faders, making sure that we don't get flagged. So right on. Hey, Flying Condor with the five months. Hey, thank you, man. Appreciate you very much. Welcome back. Feels good, man. All right, do we have sound? Yeah, we do. You know what I didn't realize is that yesterday I was skating to every mission and uh, you can just warp there from the map. So that's the thing. Unless I'm misunderstanding. I was like watching a YouTube video earlier and this guy just went to the map and clicked on the mission. I was like, oh, we could have been do doing that the whole time. Anyway, I hope you all had a good one. Today was super busy for me. And uh, yeah, I wish I could stream more. I wish I could have started earlier, to be honest. And But yeah, work, work life, work life balance. And I was watching this guy just bouncing. He would just flip trick manual, flip trick manual. And he had no problem like doing this. And I'm just like, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong yet. Anyway. <laughs> Hey, thank you for the five months. Really appreciate that, dude. Today's your Friday? Right on, dude. Yeah, I'm playing it by ear. Like, pretty much what happens is, like, every Monday, I just kind of check in with work and see what's going on. And then our staples are, like, Wednesday, Thursday. And then just kind of going from there. If, you know, maybe we could do more or less. Just playing it by ear every week, so. But as always, if you want to know when and where I'm going online next, join the Discord. Yeah, that's the best place to find out all that good stuff and to get a notification when I when I go live What's up inventor eating McDonald's? What'd you get? Trent you're making a cocktail man. We were talking about making cocktails just like a minute before I went live um, We were gonna do an old-fashioned. That's kind of our staple around here So whiskey bitters orange slice and That's it right ice cube Suppy human yeah we're going to try and complete this today. Which bourbon? I'm not sure. We always try something new. We don't really have any staples. But uh, yeah, I'm like, I'm a whiskey guy. Like, I mean, I'll pretty much drink whatever. I try and stay away from absinthe <laughs> and uh, Jaeger because I'm not really into the black licorice flavor. But uh, 
gin, vodka. I don't really like tequila, but I'll still drink it if someone gives it to me. Usually, um, I don't have a good day afterward. It's like instant headache for me whenever I drink tequila. It's weird. Anyway. Does this game have a campaign? Yeah, so there's... It's pretty much set up like Tony Hawk 4, but with some ambient goals. Like right now, I skated past the spot and it's like... So if I beat 530 points... Oh, we did this yesterday, so we already own this spot. So let's uh, go to the map and see if we can warp somewhere. Instead of skating. Wait, can I not... Oh, I need to leave this? Wait. I can't even access the map right now. I think it's because I activated the spot challenge. Let's get out of here. Yeah, we did that spot yesterday. I'm gonna do it. Also, I realized that the, um, that goal I was having so much trouble with yesterday with jumping off that ledge or whatever and getting six, whatever it was, um, they show how to do it in the intro to the game. Like if you guys watch the intro to this game, like it shows it over and over again. And I was like, I wish we had seen that sooner because yeah, we took a lot of time on that. <laughs> Travel to location. Yes. Hey Merc. What's up, dude? Yeah. I, THPS definitely takes liberties with, uh, modifying locations to fit with flowing, you know, lines and whatnot. But, uh, sometimes I feel like it could be overkill. Like as long as the map's not too cluttery, I'm pretty much cool with taking liberties. It's like, whatever's fun, you know? Oh my God. Whoa. Sick nose blunt slide. Dude, get over. <sighs> Realism. Oh, come on. Bomb the bank. I probably should actually bomb. Come on, honk. Let's do this. Dang, man. I need to, like, come down from this hill, maybe. Oh my god, Mongo. So I'm gonna try and get some speed. I was trying so hard to like time that perfectly and I just like blew it. Oh my God. Oh, I just set a new, oh. I just set my spot, spot marker again. I should really just, I want the speed though. I have the need. The quarter, the quarter pipe shaped casino slots and thaw, yeah definitely some liberties there's like a good share of like quarter pipes throughout like a lot of the levels in tony hawk that are um just like what are these they're just quarter pipes they're not even trying to be a ledge or like a a locker or like just like anything like in school one there's just like these long quarter pipes they're like giant like bigger than the buildings it's just like okay as long as it plays well what's up senpai Doing all right. Hey, Charlie. Doing all right. Trying to uh, figure out this game. I'm pretty much a noob at it, but we're trying. What does it want us to do? I feel like it wants us to grind the top or clear the gap or both. Okay. I think I'm going to give up on the speed and just, oh, come on. Beat it, dude. The peds are like walking poles. Walking vans. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. What's up, guy with long name? Everything is a quarter pipe, if you think about it. Every pizza is a personal pizza. If you just put your mind to it. up lightning try grab trick it's a good call 
why is it like one i think there's a kicker here and i could go up and grind probably if we can kick trick into a grind and then kick trick out oh my gosh oh come on you got just give it to me you know oh thank you oh that's not okay this is my first time playing video games sorry guys I think I might have to get the speed because I'm just like, I can't, unless I can. Oh, I almost got that. Ah. <laughs> uh. Go up the other street. Oh, you're probably right, actually. Just hot rod up it. <laughs> Those are turned off. I snaked him. Good. There's not enough room for the both of us. Okay, first try. Oh man. Do a honk over the cat. Dude, that was so funny yesterday. <laughs> I can't believe how long we were stuck on that goal. That should not have taken that long. Especially when they show how to do it in the intro. Dude, got no air. I need to honk the bank. Yeah, we need hand claps in this game too. Um, oh god, the car is directly in the way. I was gonna try and go up the handicap ramp. Oh, how that concrete feel? How'd that concrete feel? <laughs> I had to wait for him to go. All the way down before I could warp. Okay, I'm gonna try and go up the handicap ramp. Loses all the speed like instantly. Oh my god. What if we uh, just bust like a. I'm gonna put a marker here and then just try and bust something here. Oh my god, the whole time. We need a Tony Hawk 4 NPC clap, like alert. This is just dead silent. Yo, this place is Thanks, ETG. Um, okay, so what's next? Dude, being able to warp to the goals is amazing. Save us so much time. Um, we also need to pick out a sponsor, I think, because we've already done a good amount of everything else. Gonna say that next time someone see someone fall in real life. Wait, say what? that concrete feel oh excuse me sir oh 15k here was the lead what's up b marvo huh i need to back up so i can get two pushes at least Maybe it has to be over here on this thing. Wait, what? Let's check the spot info. Dude, this spot is insane. Oh, we're like not even there yet. Ah. So. God, so brutal. I'm sorry, Honk. <laughs> oh. 
very natural uh, wall plant. I don't know. Oh no. All right, so I just need to like ollie that first gap and then concentrate on hitting that next rail. Oh, dang. Is there some, can I land in a grind on the other side? Oh no. Hey, Kale, thanks for the follow. Kale, yeah. Am I right, guys? Kale? Any Kale fans in the house? Wow, this is so dirty. <laughs> this is like the dirtiest trick ever. Crushed it. We own that spot. Oh my god. What's up, Princess Ninja? Good to see you. How's it going? You've been uh, streaming more Tony Hawk lately? Let's go. Yeah, we own that spot. Let's freaking go. Yeah, nice. Yeah, the other night we were like, I was looking for someone to raid. I was like, here's somebody I don't know, but they're streaming Thippus. So anyone streaming Thippus, especially with the face cam, uh, is a friend of mine. Uh, wow, we could just, whatever, I'll warp anyway. Uh, spot info, let's see where it is. Yo, I skated here once, I broke my arm at this spot. Get a high speed speed to pull off the big tricks on this spot. Okay. Big ass wall. Oh, let's go, dude. Is this Thips? Look at that QP air, man. Actual first try. Yeah, my man, this spot right here is a rat. Does that have to change any settings? No, actually. I left it all default. Which is great. Um, what are we doing? Yeah, we need. Oh, we have to skate out of the spot to go to the map. Just do that. Exactly. Okay, now. Next. We probably don't even need to own any spots. I think I just need to pick a sponsor and get more. I don't know how to pick a sponsor. I'll be honest. But let's get this last spot here. It was probably presented to me in some menu that I keep just hitting X to get past. How loud are we? Test. This is loud enough, right? Okay. Oh, I should, uh, look at this. Yo, this spot's pretty insane. It's a gap oh, gap to ledge. And then at the end of the ledge, there's Let's another go. gap. And to top it off, there's magic <laughs> Uh, wait, where is it? In relation to here. Let's find this. Oh, I just tried to move the camera with the right analog. Oh, there it is. I remember playing this game and being like afraid of the security guards. Like really don't want to like get in their area but yesterday we actually had trouble getting one to chase us to complete a mission We're pretty passive it seems like and slow which is good oh my god i keep oh cool we started us anyway okay place <laughs> crushed that one I think he was trying to land on the backrest of that, the bench. He's like angling himself for to, to roll in. Ah. Uh. Let's go. I meant to do all of that. I feel like playing this game sometimes is like fingerboarding. You guys remember fingerboards, right? Like if you just like flip, flick the board up and it just does whatever and you can like maybe land it. It's like randoming it. 
And if you want to avoid big drops in this game, you can hold both triggers when you land. Really? Hey, Greasy. What's up, man? You seen that video where skaters run from that woman and she trips up on her own ankles? Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, dude. I was reading chat. Come on. Shaking my head. Hey, men's. How's it going? We were just talking about how passive they were, too. And they're just like... <laughs> Busting a DDT on us. Wrestling. Okay, uh, we need to pick a sponsor, I guess. I don't know how. Uh, let's see what's on the map. Maybe I need to go to the, the skate shop. Hey, Awful Spit. Oh, wait, where is it? I thought it was down. Oh, it is down. Oh my God. This is so slow. This is the triangle button on the map. Whoa. Pick almost. You need to pick a sponsor. Check out the sponsorship browser in the lounge. I got you on the team. Ooh. Oh, look at this. I kind of want to go girl. Or zero, actually. <laughs> Can the next stream be Annie playing? Dude, I used to get... This, I should probably keep some things are better left not said out loud wait do you guys want me to go with girl is it too late yeah it's too late sorry y'all um I played with tech decks a lot and I would go through them because I would play with them at school like in the off time and just use textbooks like textbooks were like the easiest or the coolest or best like manual pads or fun boxes and i would play with them so much that the trucks would start getting loose and i'd have to like or they would break entirely and i'd have to buy a new one just like a real skateboard <laughs> it's kind of sad when you think about it now but it was fun whatever i remember i tried to get on a fingerboarding team but i didn't have a camera so i couldn't <laughs> oh internet okay what are we doing It's a very wholesome tale. It's hundred percent true. I think it's a sidekick, Kudo. Tech deck and Hot Wheels. I had like the tech deck, like they had like they sold like a full pipe, like the loop, and like a half pipe and like a skate park thing. I have a little skate park thing with the stair set and fun box and textbooks were better. <laughs> I'll just get into them real quick. Oh, this is it? Does the Tectic video game exist? I know there's one on iPhone. Or uh, maybe Android too, but I know there's a mobile version and it's not very good. It's basically like a, a quick time event like game. There's not much freedom. You just like do the things that come up on screen. Like hit these buttons and then you have to hit them on time or in time. What's up, MSK? Hey, done. Yeah, that was a keeper for sure. So I don't know if they put out another one, but man, that was a big brand. They were everywhere. Oh, come on. Uh, do a 30 foot grind. Wow. Uh, this curb is actually looking tasty for that. There's a PC game from 2004. If you guys link that in the Discord, I'll check it out. Maybe we can get our hands on it. Try it. 
I got my hands on Simpson skateboarding and I have not booted it. I haven't booted up, so I don't know like if it works, but there's potential there, I think. Never played it before. I'm looking for a long rail. I think that curb we were just at was probably the best. Better than Tony Hawk's subway surfer. Are you talking about Epic Skater? Which is pretty much, that's what it is. And here we go. Oh my God. I uh, just put it in general or gaming or whatever. People are selling it on eBay. I wonder how much it's going for or if it was even like, so I don't think it was a good seller to begin with. <laughs> I was trying to go further. It's just like holding the ground as long as I could. Okay. Come on. Oh, I got it. No, no, no. Ah. That could have been a little bit better. The stream will boost sales and make a collector's item. <laughs> there are dozens of us. Dozens. It's described as like Tony Hawk. Oh, that has to be good then. Ooh, barely got it. Let's go. Hell yeah. right now. <laughs> go slow. He was going. Oh, honk. You're the best skater in all of our hearts. I like these filming goals because they're ambient. You can just kind of do them wherever. Grind to flip trick to grind. Wait, what? Why did I fall? What did I hit? That was weird. Someone run the replay back. Let's go to the replay center in Secaucus, New Jersey. I didn't see any. Oh, come on, dude. Ruthless, man. PTSD over here. Oh my God, jump. <sighs> Sometimes I feel like if I ollie too soon from a grinder or manual, um, it's just I like, rolling. nah, you don't have enough height. And we out. Damn. I really didn't think I was going to hit that pole. All right, let's just go this way. Screw it. And go. like tech decking over here oh still going so clean board sliding a curb <laughs> getting two manuals in a row is like such an accomplishment for me yeah first drive what's up cube Yeah, thanks, Marvo. I'll check it out after the stream. Maybe we'll play it next time. Oh, yeah. Um, I thought there was a spot. Is that it? 
let's go here man being able to travel quick travel is so clutch oh we're on minecraft now this is a metal tribute to the history of video games All right, for me to get i've never heard it but i just found it before the stream started Leads to middle rail do one flip so trick easy. oh i see now just what? go what to that mean? rail oh poggers dude dude honk crushing it that was an amazing shot. landing 90 degrees really though don't tell anyone pick photo <laughs> look at look i guess mouth is open the whole time you know what we should do the next photo session is do a gesture when we're on the rail there we go clutch what's up toasty hey wax what's up uh favorite dp song um highway robbery or Panasonic Youth, Yo, but probably Highway Robbery. Well, you know what I, heard? I used to get Mine into that song. Dude, Chris Penny's drum parts on any, pretty much any DEP song is just like, you can learn so much from it. I learned a lot, like, um, Irony is a Dead Scene and, uh, not Jane Doe, that's Converge. Which one am I thinking of? So the one with 43% burn on it. And clip the apex and all that. Oh. Oh, it has to be over these things? Oh my. Oh my. Oh yes. Look at, try and do this. Next time, next time. Can your grandfather do this? Currently learning 43% 40, burn. Hey, Assassin. Thanks for the follow, man. Yeah. I have heard that song, like, so much since, like, 2002 or something. And I still can't play that on drums. Like, there's so much random... Well, not random, but just set time signature changes that are, like, blasty and 220 BPM and stuff. And, yeah. The Mike Mo stream was really nice. Dude, I was like tripping out because Mike Mo, I looked up to him skating when I was younger because he's so good. He's a pro skater. And um, when I did that stream with him, I was like super nervous and looking forward to it. And But it was just mellow. It was basically like a podcast, like two dudes just hanging out. I can handle that. And uh, what I didn't know, I knew he got injured and he was rehabbing, but what I didn't know is that he injured himself so badly that it ended his skate career. And so when I was asking about it live on stream, I had no idea about that. And I was like, oh, wow. Like I should have just steered clear of that whole topic. Cause like, that's brutal, man. But he's such a cool dude. Like he's in good spirits and he knows what's up. Like, yeah, he was a cool guy to have around and have on. Hey, Mike Vision, thank you for the prime. Literally removing money from Jeff Bezos pockets and putting it into mine. I hate this game sometimes, man. Slam, huh? <laughs> I tried to nolly and he just like turns left. <laughs> okay. I've had worse. Oh God. I was trying to do a double. Um, yeah. And he was like talking about getting like uh, anti THPS model glasses. I was like, Dude, I want to, I want to take him up on that, but I, I don't know if he was just like being nice, you know, just like, just shooting, shooting the, what do you call it? Just making conversation. But uh, I would love to take him up on that offer because those glasses are pretty fresh. Oh, God dang it. Shooting the breeze. There you go. That's the one I was, I was like shooting the wind. That doesn't work. Yeah. All right, Eric. Please, dude. 
repeated trick. What am I doing? We need to do like a double heel flip 180 or something. Sweet mother of Pearl. That'll work. It's like literally anything with the 180, I feel like this dude can't do. So thanks, Trent. What a weird stream. I dropped an F bomb. We watched Charlie. Charlie watched us. Got a bunch of follows. I mean, I'm into it. Here from the Guitar Hero community. Right on. Welcome. I worked on Guitar Hero too. All uh both Neversoft games. What did I do to deserve that? I gotta get on the shingle. No, I did uh Guitar Hero three and up. So three World Tour, um, Band Hero, Metallica, Aerosmith, Van Halen, five. Damn, Warriors of Rock. There's like nine of them or something. Dropped an F ball and stuff. What's up, Ronald? But yeah, I was the lead drum uh, note tracker. So anything drum related, I uh, handled. I had a, I led the drum team, set all the guidelines, helped design the kit, did the motion capture for the drummer. I was actually putting together. I I recently sent a message to. A, a, the Neversoft group asking if anyone had like all the motion capture ses sessions that I did because I only have a few on my hard drive. I asked that yesterday. Hey, I would love to share some of that with you all on stream. Did I get to hang out with Round Steven Tyler? No, but he was around a lot, but I never got to deal with him like individually or one on one or anything. Um, you know, I had a box fan next to my desk every day because I skated to work. And every time I got to work, I was sweaty. And so I had a box fan to blow on me whenever I got there to cool off. And someone came in from production was like, hey, Steven uh, needs a fan. Can he use yours real quick? I was like, OK. And that dude literally stole my fan. He took off, like put it in his trailer and left with it. Homeboy has my box fan that I bought at like Target. Um, so that happened. Uh, but I did get to meet a lot of people from working on Guitar Hero. But the biggest show I ever played was on a fake drum... Oh my god, dude. Was on a fake drum kit. A Guitar Hero drum kit playing Crazy Train on a stage with three other Neversoft guys. And um, it was in front of 6,000 people, all GameStop employees at the Mandalay Bay in Las Vegas. Travis Barker, Ozzy Osbourne, and Mark McGrath were on the stage. And... I broke a stick and so I'm playing with half a stick for half the song and I started using my hands and I did okay but it was just like kind of embarrassing and to this day that is the biggest show I've ever played is there footage of that yes actually exclamation point biggest show I think there's a command so you can see it. I put that up today it's a trip that we're talking about this right now We could watch it on stream, actually. I mean, it's not like we're going to get DMCA. The audio quality is so gnarly. Um, This one. Look at that crowd, dude. Hold on. Look, that's you can see me on the on the big screen. That's me playing. Um, yeah, these were all GameStop employees for like the entire nation. Like every year they had like an event to like promo products and like basically hype up the employees to like get excited about products that they could share, you know, for the following year, you know, the fiscal, it's like a bunch of corporate big wigs, but 6,000 people. And there's Travis Barker, Mark McGrath and Ozzy. Hold on. I think if you can, uh, so this is just a good shot of me. And then you could see me with half a stick right there <laughs> just playing the song with one hand yeah this is a 2008 in september so this is just like someone's digital camera like this is like latest and greatest back then probably i had to turn the audio way down because it was just like <sighs> i'm wearing a an endless sporadic t-shirt i think uh does he say something I'll start with you. What do you think of the band's performance? Fantastic. Man. Fun, you know? Hasn't changed. 
he taps on his shoulder and goes, that guy sings better than I do. Like, Honestly, God, he said that. Oh, Mark McGrath. That's, that's, yeah, that's never true, but a damn good job. Travis, what do you think, bro? What do you think of the parts? Good. It looks like they're having so much fun. It definitely looks like a lot of fun, man. Well, Ozzy Travis, man, I can't thank you guys enough for being here today. You guys, now, shoot the sticks. Ozzy Yeah, there you go. So, like, to this day, I've never played a show that big. I flew to Vegas for one night, woke up, did that, hung out that night, went back to LA the next day. And I got paid for that too. That was sick. I wish I could do that because that wasn't the first one. Like I've done press demos like a couple dozen times and um, it's always a sweet gig, right? Because you're literally just going to play a, a video game and just hang out, and, but it's all paid for and stuff. And uh, Mark McGrath, we'd get on the plane at Burbank, be sitting, waiting at the gate, right. and Mark McGrath would roll up, be like, what's up, guys? And he'd sit next to us, and we would just start chatting. He's like, what's up, Neversoft band? Like, did I gamble? Yes. I always play blackjack. That's my game. Ozzy didn't even know what was going on, but he seemed like he's having a lot of fun. Yeah, I think he's just like, it's about the friends he makes along the way. Um... It's funny because even in 2008, we still couldn't understand what he was saying. Like even today, like he's only talking like songs like this and you could only make out F words that he tosses out. Um, uh oh, is this realism? Um, but yeah, he was cool. I didn't ever talk to him. He, uh, he came into the, the office a few times. He did a motion capture session for crazy train. Um, so he got a unique performance in there for that on world tour, but I didn't ever, um, talk to him. Same with Haley from Paramore. I was telling everybody like, yo, like, could you just arrange a moment for me and Haley like alone so I could propose to her? And everybody thought it was so hilarious. Like we were going to do it, but no one actually went through with it. I was like, man, come on. How do I get into something like that? So it's a, there's, it's a long story, but basically I was recruited by Neversoft for being really good at Tony Hawk. And I was a tester for Thug and Thug 2. Um, moved to LA for that. And then I became a designer designing levels for games after that. And so, and then after the Tony Hawk franchise kind of fizzled, we got the Guitar Hero franchise. And I, they knew that I played drums, so I was I led the drum team. I like helped integrate drums into the game and note track everything and do motion capture and share my knowledge and all that good stuff. Yeah, so it was like doing Guitar Hero demos was sick because I got to travel a lot and just play, like got to meet Metallica and Taylor Swift for Band Hero. Uh, Billy Corrigan, bunch of, yeah. Ow, my foot. I'm dropping names. How do I go back to the top? Oh, I can't. Yeah, I got to meet Metallica a few times. I actually demoed Fuel for James and Lars, and I full comboed it with um, on Expert Plus. And Lars was like, damn, I need to watch out for my job. He's coming for me. Like. And like, there was like a bunch of press there and they were all interviewing me. I was like, dude, this is sweet. I'm going to get all this coverage. And like literally none of them used any of the video or did an article or anything. So it's like, whatever. I wish I could go to the, my uh, marker. But yeah, it's a trip. It was a lifetime ago, man. It's like over 10 years now. I left Neversoft like 2010. Started doing freelance work, started my own business. Oh, excuse me. Played in some bands, did some uh, freelance drum work and stuff. Because uh, Neversoft started working on Call of Duty and I was just like eight years into working on games. I was just like over it. Straight from high school just to working all the time. And it's like, I don't have a social life. I need a break. 
so i was like can i just take a leave of absence maybe come back in like three months and then they called me they were like yeah and they called me in like two weeks and they're like yo you're coming back and i was like no <laughs> so that was it i quit 2010 did i mean zach faro no it was just Haley, unique performance but since i did the most i always tell people this so like since I did the motion capture for the drummer and Haley was singing on Misery Business for that game, technically I shared a stage with Haley and totally played in her band. But yeah, she was the only one with like the uh, motion capture. Same with Steven Tyler. Steven Tyler came in to do stuff and then Joe Perry got jealous and so he came in and did some uh, motion capture work too. And then the drummer got jealous, but it was too late, so he couldn't do it anymore. That's to be my biggest flex. Which one? Ultimate Gamer? <laughs> oh, the par the Paramore thing, yeah. Yeah, biggest flex is the Ultimate Gamer. <laughs> Um, where are we going? Do we have another uh mission to do? I got to play with the ultimate gamer. The one and only. The pulsing logos are the ones that progress the game. So Thrasher over there looks like it's hurting. Uh Oh, okay. So this guy, I'm such a noob at this. Like when I played this back in the day, I just, um, free skate basically. What's up brain freeze? Dang, the Charlie rolling up on ultimate gamer reminds me of when the dead mouse rolled into wax Wayne's chat and was like, yo dude, you want to collab? And it was like, oh, hey, man. Oh, internet. Going too hard. Heard about the best trick contest in the dump. Wait, what are we doing? I wasn't listening, as usual. The law put on a clinic at this ledge one. Is it 420? Get to the ledge curve, get 400 points, do the grind. I should have paid attention more. Okay. As usual. Realism, by the way. Let's go. Dude, that kicker leading up to it. It's rough. Oh my god. Let's go, dude. So sloppy. More butt shots. I never face the camera in any of these. Yeah, Keep it off. Yo, okay, I guess we'll pick one of these. You ain't it. It okay, best butt shot. It's got to be up close. That one right there. Yeah. Wait, did we not pick it? I thought we picked it. Oh, I think I hit circle instead. I feel like I have more of a tough time reading chat and playing this game than it's like Tony Hawk when there's like way more inputs. Remain in no skate zone. We did it. This is a... Uh, yeah, skate is really fun. I'm just so new at it that it's like, I don't know what I'm doing, but it's still great. Like, I'm a big fan. Yo, that was a fresh one it's more fun than I remember it. Which I, I can't say the same about Razor Extreme Scooter or whatever it was. I remember that being a lot of fun and it was just, we played it last week and it was not that great. Yo, this spot is way tougher than it looks. But if you get something... Ooh, what's this? I think the Lolly used to live here. I mean, not in this neighborhood, like... I think on this ledge. Yeah, I think he had a bed set up right here against the curved ledge. Slam factor's high here, but it's for the possibilities. Every day, all day, right here.
Okay, he's gonna give me a better starting point. Oh, I guess not. <sighs> playing Skate 3 all the time. I had all three, but I was never like, I never really, really got into him. I would just play him like passively. Oh my God. As you can see. Dude, Disney's Extreme Skate Adventure was really good. Like I knew, I remember playing it when it was in development and I think it used the Tony Hawk 4 engine. So, you know, like it was going to be decent, but playing the retail version for the first time the other week was like, that game is good. I wouldn't mind going back to like try and set some high scores or something. Oh, I forgot to um, see if there's like speed runners in that game. And there's like probably a whole Disney extreme skate adventure, like community that we, we could all be getting involved with. Dang it. Okay. I, I think I just have to like do a kick trick onto the second rail. Just like, don't even bother, um, for the first one. We could do like tutorials for <laughs> just throw out like a, Ooh, April fool's day is coming around. There was a button in the last games done quick. Wow. Dude, aiming in this game is tough. Oh, dude, the front side blunt down. That would have been sick if I got the 600. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's try from the left side. Let's go back side. Dang it. I guess I could see a little bit better from that angle. Oh. Hey everyone, welcome to another video of Disney's Extreme Skate Adventure. We're in uh, Andy's room. Or uh, Pizza Planet, looking for a big number. This is tough, man. Oh, come on. Can you send you... Uh, no links in the chat. You can put it in the Discord, though. Oh, what? Lonzo Ball is finished? Oh no, that means dupe isn't going to play Minecraft anymore with us. Do you have a screenshot? Hey, we got it. Did I grind the vertical part of the rail? <laughs> I love that was a grind. Are you nuts? What's up, Blackwater? Uh, okay. Whoa. So the key is to switch the legend and see if we can get a pulsing icon. <laughs> Which I don't see one. Do we need to pick another um, sponsor or something? If there's going to be a big unveiling of Lonzo Ball, can I be there for it so I can record it? Yeah, we're trying, Derek. I don't know if we're going to like <laughs> Trent. <laughs> uh, I don't know if we're going to 100% it, but we're going to try and like complete it. Thrasher bottom right. Thrasher bottom right. I don't see it. What's up, snooze? Some random ones first. I like literally do not see any. There's got to be, um, whoops. Oh, they're up here. React to THPS lines from the fans or the community. We've done that before. Uh, we could do it again. I'd be into it. The problem is, is like, I'm really not into watching Tony Hawk videos. Like, it's really rare that I enjoy one. That, I mean, I could still react to it. I just probably just dump it all over everybody's content. But it's just I've been watching him since 2000, 2000. So I'm just like, like I've seen, I feel like I've seen it all. It's hard to like. Although Dr. THPS put out a no manual video um, with no balance meters. And that was 
um pretty impressive that's the best one i've seen in a while prevzi's like 300 million in school he had um oh there it is he had a recovery in that line that was so sick um yeah so it's a rarity that i find one that i actually like but yeah Oh, that took way too long for me to find. Okay. Camera's on. We're rolling. Hey guys, this is freeway. Where Light hunting is fun to do, boring to watch. Yeah. I remember he was Dr. THPS was doing a no manual line in the mall for like weeks. And he that's all he was streaming. And I was like, I remember I was considering raiding him. I was like, oh man, I can't. Everyone's hyped off this like 200 million point combo. I can't just send him to like line making. <laughs> but I, I do like him though. He's he's a good dude and he's a good um, player. get to slappies what's up just is your name justin should i just call you just should i just call you just oh dude that's my job okay oh it's just right on oh my god he's trying to sabotage me Oh, he's ahead of me now? I didn't even see that. Boom. My basketball fan. So, um, Houston Rockets are my team, but like, I don't like, I watch a lot of their games, like almost all of them. I used to, but not near as much. I haven't been getting into it, especially since they traded Harden. Like we suck this year. So I've mainly been following like, just, I don't know, random games, clips, the Nets, the Warriors. But the Rockets are my team, yeah. I play, we have a fantasy basketball team uh, league in the Discord. It's like a 14 team uh, league. And I am currently two and two, I think. And about to lose again. <laughs> Cause I have like five injuries and my best player, um, five of his teammates got the Rona. So they've been postponing all his games. Thanks, Hootie K. Have I played the skiing game steep? Yes. I own it. I'm a big fan of, of those. I almost 100%ed it. Houston Rockets, that's rough. Yeah, Houston Sports is rough. But, like, honestly, that season with Capella, CP3, and Harden, we were crushing. We were the best team in the league. And we met the Warriors in the Western Conference Finals, and we missed 18 three-pointers in a row. And if we had made one of them, we would have gone to the finals and beat, like, debatably the best NBA dynasty of all time. But other than that season, it's been kind of rough. It's been hard in carrying the team every year. Uh, what are we doing? What is this icon? Uh, death race. This is going to be safe. Yeah, blew my mind when the Astros won too. I don't really care, but I there's a local skate shop in Houston. And that's where I got this guy. I saw it on the wall. I was like, dude, I have to have that. Put it back on the wall. Wait, there we go. Okay. What's up, Granny? What'd you miss? Dude, Moist Critical, one of the biggest streamers on Twitch, was watching a, a TV show that I was in in 2004. So that happened. Had to rank all the... Dude, that's a long list, man. Uh, but my favorites are Tony Hawk 3 and 4. And then w Wasteland, probably. Um, I don't know. Skate's good. Skate 3 is probably the best because it has the most features. Yeah, I don't know, man. That's a long... There's so many skate games. But those are the, the bullet points. Oh, we're racing. I thought I was just trying to stay within a certain range. Thug 1 is good, yeah. I thought the best levels were in 3 and 4, in my opinion. Woo! 
Yeah, I'm looking for the skate three too. I've like, I think I've played skate one and three the most, but two, like, I don't even really remember playing it. Like these all, all three of them kind of blend together, but one and three, I somewhat remember, but we'll see. I'd like to do all three. It's a nice little break. We were streaming nothing but Tony Hawk one and two for the longest time for like four months. All right, honk. Nice job. You were the one that suggested the ultimate gamer to critical. Really? Well, thank you, man. Um, Ant Venom actually was the one who suggested that soda pop and watch that hundred million point um, combo video thing. Uh, suggested it to soda pop and stream and that I was. Yeah, it helps to have you guys on my team. Thank you. Yeah, we're playing in a PS3 emulator because my Xbox 360 won't read discs right now. Get myself a sponsor, some stokens. Um, do we need to pick out a new sponsor? Is it time? I don't see any pulsing thingies. Yeah, that was wild, man. I'd thank you for that. It's crazy. I owe you one. I think uh, it would be fun maybe to set like a sub goal to do the ultimate gamer like watch through. Okay, got you, has dog. Medieval. <laughs> What's up? Coming out of Lurk to just troll me a little bit. Thank you for the three months, Mediva. Did you get the alert? I didn't see it. Well, there's another one. Over the wall, 250 points, one grab. <laughs> a drum mix of Alien Slime. Dude, yeah, actually tonight I was actually really, I was planning on doing a drum stream and just saying screw it and like just playing whatever song, whatever music. Um, but inventor is at work right now. So he's the reason why we didn't um, do it because I wanted, he wanted to be there and I wanted him to be there, so. but I'm totally happy playing, um, skate. You're not at work. You said 10 30, 10 30, your time or my time. I thought you said 10 30, my time. Like you were closing. Do we need to stop playing this and start playing drums right now? Don't again. make me play drums. I'll turn this around. Well, I know, but you, I'm not going to dox like what you do for work, but like, I just assumed that type of place might close late. It, I don't know. Maybe you're a key holder. Go ham on the drums. Well, if we do it, I'd like to do at least a couple hours and I got to wrap up in like 30 or 60 minutes or so. Play drums lives your wet dream. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of people out there that really miss the drum streams. I do too, but the DMCA stuff is kind of rough. It's risky. It's one of the main reasons why I haven't applied for partner. So I just feel like I don't want to be exclusive to somewhere who's not handling the DMCA thing that well. Or at least they can give me some assurance that I won't get like banned or something. Or, uh, I don't know. I have a drum pad. I had a Roland Octopad SPD 30, but I, um, I sold it. Um, but I have this mini fridge back here that if you hit it in the right spots, you can get some good tone out of it. It's not anything special, but. It works, you know, Sith dog. Oh, it's just the DMCA thing. Cause I played, I do drum covers to requests and how do I get enough speed? So people request songs and then I just like play to whatever they request and 99 times out of a hundred, it's a copywritten song. And so I get flagged and 
all that stuff. DMCA is still a thing on YouTube, but they have tools to let you mute those specific things or share revenue with the, the rightful owner. So, yeah. Yeah, we're going to do the Alien Slime song. We've, we've clipped it so we could do it. Ah, man. Yeah, that's the Octopad from the iPod ringtone. Dude, you're an OG if you know about that video. That is like 2009 or something, man. Yeah, dude, the Twitch DJ community, man. I got to give them props because they're just like, <laughs> they're just like, uh, yeah, this is what we do. Ban me if you're going to <laughs> kind of thing. Oh, dang it. Um, the reason why we were doing fine with drum streams before is that like those parts of the song would get muted. Oh, dang it. But, uh, it was before Twitch was like, yo, we're going to ban you if you play content that's not yours. Like they were like, you know, we'll mute your stream. And if you try and upload it to YouTube, they're just not going to monetize your video, which is fine. I don't care. But like, dude, this chick is standing right in the way. Um, yeah, so just lately it's gotten or like since uh, September when they uh, that all that stuff went down, I think. Yeah, I think SP is in the same boat. Just like if I get banned for playing music that I like, basically, if I get banned for doing something I want to do, then so be it. I'd rather not suffer doing what I don't want to do. Dude, I need more speed. What's back here? This chick just cut me off. Excuse me. I wish I could take her hat. <laughs> Crushed it. <laughs> Thank God it's not, uh, my full time job. Yeah, exactly. That's the other thing is like. I mean, I don't think I would ever do this full time, but if I ever got to the point, it would be a, such a drag if I got shut down just because like I, you know, wanted to play drums with my community kind of thing. I don't know what this is, but let's do it. Yeah, but I did like what I think I'm going to do is uh the next drum stream i'm just gonna put together a set list of like eight or ten songs and uh just play those and not take requests and then like if it goes well if people like it then we can like come back do it more and people can request stuff i have a, a pretty sweet set list going i'm excited for it this is a megalovania camellia remix Porter Robinson's new music is DMC free. Nice. So is Gunships and Chon, I think. And Intervals. There's some bands have like helped out with that, but I'm not huge fans of theirs. But I still, you know, some of their songs like you do. There's an 18 minute long prog song by Car Mechanic, which is like a friends band. That's so good. And it's a great drum song. I'm really looking forward to playing. <laughs> But it's like 18 minutes, so it's like, I don't know if it's going to be a resident sleeper or what, but I'm going to have fun playing it. Oh, come on, dude. Yeah, we could also try and play Tony Hawk using the drum kit. It's pretty rough. I did it once. It's pretty awful. Oh, I wanted to do a Christ here. Are those long epics? I do too. Oh, well, I mean, it depends on the song. But like, if you play kind of like prog rock epic songs on Twitch, I've noticed that people lose interest halfway through the song or much earlier, like three minutes in. They want like bite. 
it seems like people want bite-sized chunks which is kind of like why we'd always take requests people usually stick around for their requests so making a set list is kind of risky in itself but i just want to play drums again i've been playing them a lot of offline just played napalm death songs dance of attorney at three times speed i have a clip of playing tony hawk with drums but i think we should save it for when like we do it live one time Play the song my neighbors hate. Which one's that? It was a quick, it was over. He's done. 200 mil drum kit only. Okay. Hey, K, thanks for the follow. Same with Caden. Appreciate you. Yeah, cheers, guys. You guys are staying hydrated out there. Aqua acquaintances, if you're out there. Damn, jams are hectic. Way to come through. Oh my god. <laughs> Your name is also named Bort. I'm a huge Simpsons fan. That's a great name. Can I play through the fire and flames and Dragon Force and drums? Yes. In fact, we got raided by Herman Lee and I played it for him and his 300 raiders. And it's on my YouTube if you want to watch it. But it was not a very good playthrough, I will say. But we've gotten a lot better and we've played it a lot. Because it's a very common request. We'll use it, do it as like an ender or something. No skate zone. Is this a dead end? Huh. Sulfuric cautery. Interesting. Throw them in the music channel on the Discord if you're in there. Otherwise, I'll totally forget. Oh, dude, that would have been sick. Landing in tail or nose slides is so hard. Why can I find a no skate zone? Favorite drummer? Um, well, the most inspirational is Dave Grohl. Like he made me want to play the album. Never mind. Like the intro to Smells Like Teen Spirit was like, I want to play drums. I want to do that. I want to sound like that. So his style is my favorite. Um, otherwise, you know, uh, what's his name? Tony Royster Jr. is amazing. Uh, Matt Garska, of course, Chad Wackerman, Dave Weckl, you know, Portnoy, obviously, Dave Grohl's guitarist. Did you know that the singer for the Foo Fighters is also um, the drummer for Nirvana? <laughs> yeah, Portnoy's good. I remember I actually bought a few of his, uh, I'm joking, by the way. Um, I bought a couple of Portnoy's DVDs back in the day before like YouTube. I wasn't so much a fan of Dream Theater really at all, but um, the drum parts were fun. So I was into that. I was in an endless sporadic. So, I mean, like we're basically Dream Theater light. <laughs> uh, the other guy in the band was a huge Dream Theater fan. And he's like worked with Jordan Rudis now. He played on Endless Brack's latest record. Yeah, Labri is kind of what's keeping me from liking uh, Dream Theater. <laughs> Not to like, you know, hate on anyone, but. Megadeth's not really my jam. I don't hate them though. Yeah, I heard about the new LTE. LTE was a big inspiration too, just for drum parts. Odd times. It's like kind of where I learned to play in five and seven. I'm still looking for a no skate zone. Oh, isn't there one here by the gas station thing or whatever this is? Whoa. -oh. Yeah, here we go. Oh, didn't even see that. Wait, begin recording. There we go. Do four grinds. Can we uh, do a grind without getting pwned by the cops? I'm really concentrating now. Oh, dang it. <laughs> 
Do I like Primus? Yeah, they were a big influence. Um, starting out drumming, Pork Soda was one of my first CDs. Look at this guy. He's chasing after me. <laughs> he was on a mission. You see him? Get this fool. All right, Ray Mysterio. Just passing through. Do I like Ween? I haven't really heard enough of Ween. I don't know. I have a friend who's really into them. And he went to Berkeley, and so I guess they must be all right at least. <gasps> oh! 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 <laughs> Would you push Mongo to get away from the cops? Do I like wrestling? Not really. I grew up like playing WCW versus NWO Revenge on N64. Four player. Dude, those local co op games were so sick. That's as far as it goes. Like, we. Uh, WWF Raw on N64 was really good. So, like, me and my friend were really into it. We're really into it. We ordered one pay per view when, in, like, Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock were, like, huge. It was, like, their heyday. And that's that's it. I don't know anything about wrestling now. I know that it's called the WWE now, and I think they merged with WCW and all that other stuff. I don't know. I just work here. Both are correct. Nice. Vladrick's a huge huge wrestling fan, dude. Uh, Reina Van Vandel or Vandal. I don't want to say his last name, but he's really into wrestling, and he calls it wrestling because he's from um, he's British. Am I into stuff? Definitely. I love stuff. What's up, Ramrod? Favorite Metallica song? Um, probably one because one encouraged me to get a double bass pedal because I wanted to play that that breakdown, the triplet. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen Dillinger live a few times. There's a clip on my YouTube actually of watching um, Greg jump like 20 feet off the rafters into the crowd. Big fan of Dillinger, especially them live. A 30 foot jump. This is a bad place for that. Why did I do that? Leave event. The Rock and Dwayne Johnson. No way. I heard that um, The Rock's entire family um, had to get tested for COVID. Did y'all hear about this? Because they're all at the dinner table and they couldn't smell what the rock was cooking. Boom! Got him. <laughs> I don't even think that's like the right way to tell the joke, but whatever. We landed it. First try. Uh, 30 foot jump. Yeah. So listening to an injustice for all, like early on, I was just starting drums was like, you know, I thought Lars was like amazing. And he was back then. Like he was like doing stuff that was rad and really inspirational and taught me a lot. <clears throat> and the older I got, I realized that how out of time he is. And I think he was just getting a lot older and he's like, couldn't keep up with the parts he wrote. I mean, he keeps up with it, but his velocity isn't there and his timing is not really great, but pulls it off somehow. It is a reveal, Inventor. You guys have to wait for me. Well, you don't have to, but I would like to be there so I could re record it at least. Okay, we need a big hill or something. Uh, maybe go down this way. No, that is also uphill, strangely. The Melvins, I don't know much about them. The fake air costume, what's up? Sorry to switch topic, but what all did you do for Guitario? Uh, you can check my bio down below. But basically, I led the drum team. And I had a band that had a few songs in the game because I worked at the company. Man. 
I thought we were going to get a lot further tonight. I thought we may actually, like, not do all the goals, but, like, beat the game. I think we have a lot of stuff left. We might break this up in a few more streams. Oh, this might be a good place to start. We're starting to go downhill here. Dupe says he just wants to finish it. I don't blame him. Well, if he wants me to record it, I would do that for him, but he'd have to wait. So if he doesn't care, then he should just finish it. For those of you out of the loop, we have a Minecraft server and one of our regulars here um, decided to do uh, what a 300 by 200 portrait of Lonzo Ball's head. And he's finishing it now after like 30 hours or something. Loving the tangents. Thanks, Nindor. Sometimes I don't know if I'm just uh, boring everyone to death or I don't know. I don't like talking about myself unless people ask. But thank you for the 100 bits, Nindor. Appreciate that. Never boring, right on. I'll take that to the bank. And we're back here now. Watch you talk about anything for hours? Dude, yeah. Can I get that writing? Can you sign that at the bottom? Go to Taco Bell. <laughs> oh, thanks, Awful Spit. I love you too. Um, I don't know. It depends on the situation. But lately, I've had to hit an order minimum of like, you know, $25 to Grubhub it to get it delivered or whatever. Granny, thank you for the 500 bids. Um, so lately, I've been ordering a lot of bean burritos because they're good the next day. But my favorite things have all been canceled. There's no more Frito burrito, the chili cheese and Frito um, burrito. But that's that's been gone for like two decades. So uh, but I'm still not over it. Uh, the double decker taco is also gone now. That was my go-to Crunchwrap Supreme, uh, with black beans or chicken. Is it, I'm a big fan of that. So that's the staple, uh, the bean burritos, sometimes nachos. The grilled stuffed burrito is great, but it's like $5. And that's like, if I'm feeling like a, it's like a special occasion or I want to feel like royalty and get a grilled stuffed burrito. Skate 2 is longer. Do I get to have a McRib yet? No, I don't plan on it. <laughs> I, do, I like do not plan on ever eating a McRib. What if I tried it and it was like amazing? I haven't had McDonald's since like 2008. I was in an airport and the only thing open was McDonald's. Or the only thing there was McDonald's. It was like that or Starbucks. Shredded chicken burrito is pretty good. People don't actually eat McRibs, it's just a meme. Oh, this might be a good rail. Oh, we need more speed though. Ugh, bad starting point. Oh, I'm an idiot, it's a 30 foot jump. Oh my God, not a 30 foot grind. Chalk it up. Update the tally. I always get lost. <laughs> Chats are talking about Taco Bell. Sad Brazilian noises. Yeah, Taco Bell is a meme, but it is good. It's probably the best fast food place. Aside from like In-N-Out or um, Whataburger, in my opinion. Do I like Hawaiian pizza? Yeah, of course. You can put pretty much anything on a pizza and I'm down. But my favorite um, pizzas are always like veggie heavy. No meat. Bacon Club Chalupa, are those good? Those sounds kind of gnarly. Like, is there ranch dressing on a taco? I don't know if that's, you know what? Let's, uh, let's cruise somewhere else. Let's go to where we know there's downhill. I know we can, um, Well, let's just go here. How about that? Just do this. 
<laughs> Excuse me. Uh, what's the most boring thing we could possibly talk about? Let's see if you guys stay interested. Five Guys definitely is like the best quality fast food burger, but you end up spending like 20 bucks for a burger and large fries. Dude, I lived less than a mile from In-N-Out when I lived in LA or, you know, at one of my apartments. And um, I would go there at least once a week. I would get a double double of fries and it would cost $4.20. And it, it was like a staple. Sometimes I would just get two double doubles to eat one later in the day. <laughs> yeah, so people are saying that my, McDonald's, I was saying like McDonald's is super cheap. And then like a bunch of people in the comments are like, dude, McDonald's is not cheap. And it's like, uh, apparently it's just America. Like I'm pretty sure the government is actually subsidizing bur burgers. Like it costs actually like um, every burger you buy from McDonald's, it actually costs like five bucks more, but the government's paying for it or something like that. Not to get political, but I think there's something to that. But yeah, so apparently that's why it's cheap in America and not everywhere else. The Pico de Gallo burger? I never had that. Dude, their, um, their breakfast is really good too. They got the taquitos and they got the honey chicken biscuits or the honey butter biscuits or whatever. Chick-fil-A has got some good breakfast too. Chick-fil-A is definitely S tier fast food for me. Double double to me is Tim Hortons coffee. Is that like a double espresso shot? Dude, I'm hungry too, man. I just ate right before the stream and I'm still hungry. Yeah, there's no in and out where I live right now. Look at this guy. Just totally photobombing us. <laughs> We're using that one. Crushing it. Hey, it's me. Time to go put it down for zero. Go put the line for your part. Camera's on. Play oh. ball. Dude, let's go. Actually did the thing that I wanted it to do. I didn't want to really know what grind I was doing, but I wanted to grind the curb and we got it. <laughs> Is that Tony Hawk? Dude, one day you plan on visiting the US doing a fast forward tour. That would be a killer way to experience America, although you would feel like death by like the third day. You need like a salad. You got like intersperse some salads in there. I would love to do that too. In fact, I did that once in LA. We like wanted Wendy's and also in and out and then something else. And we just went to like three different places and picked out. In one year, um, I think it was last year, New Year's Day, um, we were so, you know, partied out that I went, I ordered a pizza for pickup and uh, next door was the Taco Bell. So I got Taco Bell and a pizza and then five guys on the way home sounded really good. So I got five guys, Taco Bell and a pizza on New Year's Day. And this is like hangover day, just fast food, comfort, comfort food, just hanging on the couch. Ah, uh, it's the dream, the American dream. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> Spent like sixty dollars just like <laughs> stuffing myself. Worth it though. Got a good story out of it too. <laughs> Y'all, let's go. Awful spit. Thank you for the three hundred bits. It totally is, Travis. After a long night, cruising bars, like fast food just hits different. Or if you go to like a IHOP, like a breakfast or a diner, dude, diners are like the goat. Like 
any time of day before after during drinking i love diners also strangely underrated as a uh, bars and restaurants at bowling alleys every time i drink or like hang out a bowling at a bowling alley bowling alley bar they have good food and it's like good vibes and like good prices too it might be an ice cold take but every time for me it's been pretty legit Oh, let's go. Awful spit with the tier one. Thank you, man. Appreciate the brand new tier one sub. Let's go. Denny's past midnight. I've done that one too many times. I'm gonna have to leave this to start it. Oh, come on. Give us. Oh. Quit. Yes. Is Sonic a good restaurant? It's not it's okay but it's not like that great i put it in like c or d tier in fact i've done a tier maker for this i think we were doing it in the discord like last year at some point like we we talk about food a lot on the stream <laughs> and everyone was doing a tier maker and like i think i still have the image somewhere in my hard drive so we need four grinds total 60 foot grind oh here we go Oh my god. Scrittler, thanks for the follow, man. Yeah, I mean, Sonic's okay. I don't know. I think... I felt like the last time they had like a... Some special on Tuesdays where you get like two burgers for a buck or something. And I, I remember getting it on the way to Drumstream, actually, at the studio in Houston. Whatever. Um... And I just remember feeling really bad after it. And then the next week I did it again. And I was like, I felt really bad about it too, or after it too. Hey, Trent with five gifted. So let's go, man. Thank you. I appreciate that, Trent. Talk about Sonic. Get gift subs. Seems legit. Thanks, Trent. But yeah, the last few experiences at Sonic were not that great. But they do have a giant menu. I'll give them that. There's a lot of variety there. We need more grinds. This is not what we need here. Quiznos! Yo, dude. Thank you for the uh, Bezos pesos. Appreciate it, dude. The three months. Welcome back. For the shout out to the bowling alley bars. Yes, dude. Okay, I'm not alone. <laughs> Look at that. So scuffed. Man, there was a place in Houston um, that we used to go to all the time. It actually just shut down like a couple years ago. Um, I don't live there anymore, but like it's the end of an era. I can't believe I bailed from that little crack. Whoa. Whoa. I'm blowing it. Where are the grinds? <laughs> I don't know this map at all, so I can't be like, oh, we'll just go here and do this rail because it's super long and it's perfect for this situation. I just know nothing. I'm super. I'm Jon Snow. Wait, what's the name? What do you mean? Lonzo's Dun Dun? Nice. Okay, camera is on. Oh. Oh, I, I'm not going to give away the name of the place. That's too close. Oh. Homie didn't even stop or slow down. Didn't veer right. Wow. Oh. I might just quit this and um, 
find another place. Yeah, let's quit this. We need a good downhill section to complete like both of these filming goals. I totally expected that to be like more of a quarter pipe. <laughs> it's just like got stuffed. Okay. Uh, let's see. I can travel elsewhere and do uh, filming goals, right? Oh, whoa, put this in the subway. Oh, what a jam. Persona 5. Hey, B9, what's up? Ooh, the blunt side at the end. The landing was scuffed, but whatever, we got it. Was that Mitch Hedberg joke that was like, I just want to make my phone number all nines. So when people ask me for my phone number i'll just say just keep hitting nine i was like well when do i stop it's like you'll know i'll pick up or the lady will tell you to stop <laughs> all good crustacean hey the lyric is uh more than i can ask for grind flip trick to manual i can't go to that marker anymore Yeah, I miss Mitch. He uh, passed away on April Fool's Day, and I thought it was some horrible joke, but it was uh, not. Which one is this? Okay. 3250, 24-foot jump, grind flip trick to manual. If you can get up to the top here, this should be easy peasy. Ish. Oh, he's beginning to believe. Let's go, dude. Whoa, what's up, Kaylin? We're actually chaining some manual flip trick combos together. Look at this. Remember, we couldn't do two yesterday. We just got four. Matrix <laughs> like someone got it. All right, what else we got? 10 seconds here, five grabs. I'm gonna go back to the top. We could just bang out all these up here. Mole would be proud. Okay. I wish it would let me keep this spot after the goal's over. All right, here we go. <laughs> Going so fast. Ah! I hate when you have a situation like that and you, you can't just like instantly ollie. You have to crouch first and there's like a slight delay from when you land to when you can ollie again. Yeah, let's do this. 
That Akuma track is kind of, I have mixed feelings about that. I wish you would insta retry instead of do all that. Oh, I thought we were going to land that into a nose blunt. Either way, it was pretty rad. Oh, he started flipping. Why did he start flipping? I wasn't holding. I thought L2 was. Maybe if you hold a direction while you're holding the shoulder button. I'm trying to do just ollies, but I keep getting a kickflip every time. <laughs> Why did you stop? Shaking my god dang head. <sighs> That's the, the main fallback or drawback of skate games is like, sorry the skate series I should say it's like I feel like I'm being precise enough but I'm just not and like when you play a Tony Hawk game you let like it rarely happens like sometimes you get misfires but way less I'm just certain point because it's easier to do tray flips and all these well, i'm like trying to do grabs on flat ground so like i could probably do this without even like moving go. oh what? did a flip again oh yeah i should just do the tricks i don't know why i didn't think of that if we had a half pipe that might be better i'm trying so hard to just ollie <laughs> Dude, I suck. <laughs> it's not giving me any of these grass. Oh, I got one. Oh. Come on. <sighs> Dude, bomb. I know. Bombed. We're going to get this one. I like these filming goals though. They're fun. Can you land in a grab? Can you just hold it and land in it? Oh, maybe not. That would be a, let's do that. Let's see if you can actually do that. Ooh. So you can. So that's a good way to make sure you get the grab to register. You don't have to let go so soon. Ah, oh, but I gotta land the <sighs> stupid fail screen taking forever. Is this skateboarding? <laughs> Come on, one more grab. Don't hit me. Oh yeah, dude. Just like do it all in play. Look at this sick footage. <laughs> Show him honk. So stupid. Get four thousand points. All right. <gasps> Dead guy in the road. <laughs> So 
<laughs> Realism, by the way. That ledge combo is pretty sick. Watch out for the dead guy in the road. Nah. I mean, it was cool, but if it was faster, it'd be a lot, a lot more exciting, I think. Oh, the 30 foot jump one again. Huh. Probably just do it down that hill again. How late am I going to stream? I'm not sure. We'll do a couple more goals. But yeah, I'm trying to limit myself to two hour streams. But, you know, we pretty much go over every time. But just like I work nine hours a day and then I stream. So I like if I stream on a day that I work, then I basically just have like no time to like be a human outside of uh, that stuff. So otherwise, I would just never sleep or eat or do anything, which has also been the case a few times. <gasps> Woo! Gasp. Audible gasp. Dude, let's go. That was a sick. How long? How far was that power slide? Oh, we're not going to get this. Do I work remotely? Yeah. I've worked remotely since 2010. I've only had a couple like on-site gigs like now and then for, like drumming or something. Well, it's eight hours of work and then one hour of lunch. So it's really like nine hours. Nine to six. What's up, hug? You've been here though. You're just waving. Oh, have a good. Oh, you're leaving. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Later, hug. Oh, dang it. Curb on my way up. Okay, okay, okay. 30 foot jump. That was tight, but I'm not going to get this power slide now. Retry. Okay, so maybe 30 foot jump, then power slide right away. Later, hug. Good to see you. Thanks for hanging with us. Oh, yeah. Never had to get up so late for school yet. My sleep schedule's the worst it's ever been. Yeah, if I was like unemployed, I, yeah. Dude, I, I have, like, I think I like staying up at night because it's like, I feel like I'm less bothered. Like, I'm not gonna be hit up by anybody. I could just sort of like be and do what I wanna do. So I tend to stay up late. And then I would, just sleep forever and then I would just like <laughs> ruin my schedule shout out to getting 10 hours of sleep I've been getting five or six for like the past three or four weeks oh whoops oh which one is this one okay no skate zone 2000 points nose manual no skate zone that's literally what I do man that's the dream though like if you have income and you could do that that's the dream. I mean, obviously, if you like have some other ways to fulfill your life, like, you know, contributing somewhere, whether it be to yourself or other people, there's a balance there. But shout out to 10 hour sleep days. 
and just going to sleep whenever you want yeah here's a, here's an interesting concept i was on break like last year and i was like i'm looking at my fitbit results like they rate they grade you on how well you slept you know and it tells you when you went to sleep when you woke up if you're in light or deep sleep and all this stuff and i was like where can where can i get an alarm that wakes me up once i've had eight hours of sleep or like seven and a half hours or ten hours like we only have alarms that wake us up at certain times why don't we have alarms that wake us up when we get enough sleep does that exist am i the only one to big brain that so i feel like that's kind of an obvious thing but i don't know we do have like a work all the time culture i work more than you culture I was like, if I could just set my Fitbit to be like, yo, you've had eight hours, time to get up. I would totally do that if I didn't have to get up at a certain time. High thoughts with that. <laughs> I guess it's kind of a high idea. Uh, let's, uh, and he slips. <laughs> nice. Um, where would be uh, no? I wish they would show no skate zones. I don't. I don't know the map, so I'm just like guessing. Hey, Sebastian, how's it going? Sleep is a social construct. What's up, Hitson? Sleep as a sleep as has Android has an early wake up based on good place in your sleep cycle, and it can trigger only if you've had enough sleep. Dude, if you're in the Discord, you should link that. But also, what's up, Hitson? I need my phone to tell me how much I can sleep and when I should sleep. I need technology to run my life more than it already does. Who's with me? Yeah. Oh, this is going to be a big gap. Big drop down. Oh, what? Oh, remain in no skate zone. <sighs> Rookie mistake. Where am I going? How's Honk? He's doing all right. He's crushing and also getting crushed. So we haven't honked down a stair set today. We should do that before the stream's over. We're going to do a few more goals. Ooh, barely got that one. I just stayed home, dad, your to toddler. Yeah, toddlers run the show, man. It's not about you. <laughs> Right on, hit stun. Thank you. I don't have kids, but I can imagine. Uh, you know, I can't imagine, but I can imagine, if you know what I mean. Which one is this? Do three grabs, eight seconds air, 15 foot grind. Oh, I totally thought that was a ramp. Uh, let's just go for it.
Oh my god. Jump more. Jump. Jump. <laughs> nice. Likely gonna get five hours of sleep for for the third day in a row. Man, I'm right there with you. If I just look at my phone, I know this is not like I'm not trying to be like misery Olympics, but I I can relate. I got six hours forty minutes last night. So just starting from today and going back, it goes six five seven nine on Sunday, seven six five five six five five six five 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 five. <laughs> Six, four, five, seven. Past two some odd weeks. What's going on? All right, this is for a new jack. You gotta hit this up with Be like that, man. Get off work and then I do what I want to do, and then it's like, oh wait, it's two AM. What? How did that happen? Oh. It's definitely my fault. Like, I could go to bed on time, I just don't. Uh, I think I need to, like, time my pushes instead of holding it. Ooh, let's go. Don't use songs you like as alarm unless you want to hate them. Exactly. We were watching a, uh, a show. Oh, butt shot again. Every time. Um, and it, one of the characters had like a phone and it was ringing and they were arguing and they didn't want to answer the call. And the ringtone was my alarm sound from like my original iPhone from back in the day. And I was like, oh God, please mute it or answer the freaking phone. And uh, yeah, so I can, yeah, that's definitely true. I actually have the Contra um, theme, the stage one song in Contra as my alarm and my ring for the longest time. And I had to stop because I was like, this is getting ruined and it's such a good song. Good tune. Hmm. Okay, I guess we're going back to the skate shop. Is it time for another sponsor? I wonder, like, I have no idea how far we are in the game. Are we like 50%? 20%? 5 30 a.m. in the UK. Why are you here? And I appreciate you being here. I wish we could um, stream more EU friendly. But the truth is, is like the job, right? And then whenever the weekend comes around, I just want to sleep in. I don't want to wake up at 9 and stream. <laughs> so we try and do like noon or 1 p.m. streams on the weekends whenever we do. Wait, we can go to the lounge. Uh, coverage, sponsors. What do we want? DC? Oh, these are all locked. What are we doing here then? Oh wheels spitfire i recognize the rest i don't <laughs> exactly mega but what i've been doing recently is like um there's a spotify playlist that plays now for me in the morning and it's all um it's a playlist that they generated that's like coffee shop in the wake up and smell the coffee playlist or something and so it's all like songs that i've never heard before and will likely never hear again and it's usually like like easy listening it's not like pantera or something so that's been working out 
Keep this going. Let's get more coverage. Uh, okay, it has. Yeah, I'll just catch up with you in so probably another one or two streams of this before we finish. Maybe we'll do a long stream on this uh, on the weekend and finish try and finish it up. <laughs> Yay, I'm sponsored instantly, Bill. Wait, what is this? 45 foot grind? Dang. We could probably do it down this hill again. This spot is the goat. Served us well for like six video parts. So 45 is going to manual flip trick to grind. trick to grind <laughs> okay oh man we're, uh, we need way more points dang it okay this time I'll actually like I was expecting way more points for that. Oh, dang it. <laughs> really want a pepperoni pizza with fries? Word. Would you put the fries on the pizza? And we're rolling. Important question. <sighs> yes. <laughs> Capital Y. Yes. I would be down with that. Wait, 1800 points for all that. Let's go. That's how I want to see you skate. That's the way to do it. Six grinds. Um, I like, uh, gotta do it at the top of the hill. The, the speed it helps a lot. For this one, I don't think it really matters, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Tune. Yo, let's go. Oh, what? Oh, dude, we were getting tech. Like, way too tech. But I'm down. Oh my god almost blew it i was really trying to do a 360 Hell flip yeah. but i don't think i've got the feel for it <laughs> so scuffed. realism by the way okay time to get to skate yeah, some text time we're sure. in Ooh, we got more. Is that another pro challenge with a red icon? Hey, Mike Mac. Thanks for the follow. What does this mean? Oh, 
Reloaded. PG Lads Mansion? DMCA. Yeah, this is my crib. I yeah, this is my crib. Money in video games. It's got some sick stuff to skate all back. Dude, PJ never says a word. See if you can get him to talk by doing a bunch of tech tricks on that bench. Where is the bench? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I got on the bench. I like couldn't see the shadow. Look how you could. It's like buried in the thing. Front side 5 to tail. How do I freaking. Man, what? Front side 5 to tail. I'm like pressing to the right with both analogs. What am I missing? Do I need to hold a button when I do that or something? How do you pivot when you're in a grind? You can't just transition? I feel like you could. It happens on accident sometimes. Oh, whoops. <laughs> what up, modestly priced receptacle? The NPR. Rotate the stick around once. Ah, dude, Joey coming in clutch. Oh, the left stick. Got it. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Realism, by the way, sim simulation skate skating simulation. I don't know, man. I'll try and I'll just ollie into it. Oh, dude, to tail side is gnarly. It's the right stick. How do you rotate? Like, I mean, like how, rotate it how? Dang it. Oh no. We're gonna get it. Whoa, the late shove it though. That was tight. Start down and circle to the left. Interesting. Left analog or right analog? I'm sorry, cube. I'm trying, I'm doing my best. Right analog and circle. How do I even do that? I gotta use my left. My left thumb on the right stick. Oh my. <laughs> I'm, dude, I'm trying. I'm just really bad. Oh, whoa. Did the circle break your grind? When I pressed it, he just pieced out. Oh. Oh, we almost had it. Circle breaks your grind. So I'm not sure if... Whoa. Maybe that's what we need, though, to break the grind and then rotate quickly into it. Oh, move the stick circularly. Oh, but slow or else I'll do a kick trick. Okay. Clockwise, I imagine. I was like, yeah, because if you move the right analog and press circle, like, <laughs> it's like impossible. You have to move your left thumb over to the right stick. Oh, maybe it's counterclockwise.
Ooh, that was cool though. <laughs> Just reminding me of the time I was trying to. <laughs> Sensitive. <laughs> Almost. He was working his way there. Oh, come on. <laughs> it might be easier if I just go super slow next to it. So close. Pause and look at how to do different grinds. I feel like we almost have it though. That was dope. I I will I should look at that. It would save us some time. One more. Okay. Uh isn't it down here? Scroll down. Oh, it does. Front side tail. Whoops. It's not in advance. Is this what I need to do during the grind? Dang, look at that. All right, I'll try it. It seems like you need to do something different when you're in the grind versus before you're on it. Oh, come on, dude. I think I just threw off my A game. He's literally the reason why I can't do this goal. Oh, slower. It's too fast again. I almost want to roll up on it super slow so I get more time. Let's go. We did it. Even though it's totally scuffed landing. Don't tell anyone. Don't make me pick a photo, please. Hey, it's Seb. Man, the coverage just keeps on stacking up. Nice. Check this out. We're crushing this right now. Oh, there's more here. First try. Exactly. Can we go inside? Whoa. I did not mean to do I was trying to ollie up the stairs. It's back here. I don't remember this. I don't think I've ever seen this mansion um, when I played. What's up, inventor? Hey, ninja. What it be? What are you guys doing? Are you guys starting a new Lonzo build? We did a trick today on stream. Something new. Gap in front of pillars. Look at a screenshot of it real quick. Uh, okay. <laughs> sure. Check DMs. Okay, well, there's somebody in our fantasy league that really is in the um, future MVP, um, Lonzo Ball. Quote. And uh, he decided to build it in my build a portrait of him in Minecraft, and I think this is gonna show us it right here. Yep, there he is. In all his glory. Look at him go. <laughs> is this content? 
Okay. Thank you for that. That was a nice little breather. Thanks, dupe. An inventor. <laughs> Super poggers. <laughs> Super poggers, Lonzo Ball. Have I tried Skitter XL? Yeah, briefly. A few hours, maybe like five or six. I have it. I would like to stream it sometime, but I'll come later. I need to um, get some speed. I, don't, I still don't really get how to pump in this game. <laughs> Shoplifting super poggers. We had it. Dude, alling into that gave us a lot of speed. If only we could do that again. present have a good one dude thanks for hanging <laughs> shoplifting didn't he get caught shoplifting in china or something i maybe i'm way off base here but i feel like that's a thing we need another butt shot look at honk look at him he's into it leandro ball leandro ball dude okay i like that one but we've been sticking with butt shots today and yesterday let's do this one it's not like we can see him all at the end or something. I know we need to get covered in all, but Mark Gonzalez is in town. Dude, oh my god. We need to skate with him. Oh no, Dupe was live? I didn't know Dupe was live streaming that. I would have totally raided you while you're doing that. Just have all these people just watch you build Lonzo Ball. Um, thinking of playing the other skate games? Yeah, I would like to. I Because I want to get to three. But we'll see. We'll see the pacing. Maybe we'll split it up with some other games in between. <laughs> all the super poggers on my screen. <laughs> Get out of the bowl. I need an adult. Get me out of this thing. Ugh. There we go. Oh. Yeah, I played one, two, and three for probably like a total of like six, seven hours. Mostly free skate. I really don't know which is which. I don't have the levels memorized or anything. I don't know how to just do the tricks. Ultimate Gamer. <laughs> I can't believe that came up today. In fact, I think all my mods don't even know about that. Most people who frequent the stream, like, I try and sweep that one under the rug. But at least it amounted to something. Got a few followers out of it. It's pretty cool. Jump through the hole, get 150 points. Oh my god, this is gonna be a pain. Look at this. Oh, dude. Do I need to grab through it? Wow. Honk, lose some weight. <gasps> oh, that was it. Oh, 
Oh, let's go. Yeah. Solid. Dang. Dude, they, this game is fun. <laughs> the, the goals are tight. I'm into this. Whoa. Honk in the wall. <laughs> well, what's that icon? What's this? Best trick. You know, it would be rad is if we could play this online with other people and just cruise and do some doubles or something. Welcome to Bobby D's party at the Matrix. Free skate. All right, you signed up, right? Dose? What comes after dose? Go! Excuse me, can somebody tell me what Gary Sue's dose is? Oh, so we have to trick on these things. I get it. Ooh, dude, that was fresh. That was like the coolest thing we've done all day. It's clean. <laughs> I take it back. That was the coolest thing we've done all day. And we took out that guy. <laughs> that was cool too. Honk. Honk is delivering the tonk. Oh, I tried to nolly shove it. Yeah, I wonder if they're going to make Escape 4 if it's going to be a remake. My money would be remake. Or uh, some sort of um, mishmash of the skate games. So I feel like a new... They would have to go small for their first iteration. Even though it's the fourth, I imagine the studio's been disbanded, so they have to re-recruit, reassemble, get everything up and rolling again. The promo didn't say for it. They didn't clarify that it was for it. They said they're working on a skate game. So it really could be another, like, Dizzy's Extreme skate adventure or something. <laughs> one would, one can dream. Get out of here. This is Honk's place. Yeah, Honk's place. Yeah, remakes are in. Like, if you think about it, it seems like most movies, well, not most, but it seems like a lot of movies are sequels or prequels or remakes or something because the marketing behind it, a lot of the groundwork has already been done and it was successful before, so it's a safer bet for investors, right? It's not always the case, right? But I feel like it's more appealing to people forking over a ton of money when they're like, yeah, we've done it before and it proved to make money, so. Give us your money. Oh, come on. But I could be very wrong. That's just my thoughts. Someone in the chat re uh, a few months ago said like, yeah, when they announced Skate 4, they, he didn't actually say Skate 4. It could be anything. And I had to go back and watch the video. You're like, oh my God, he's right. Didn't say Skate 4. Turn oh my god. Oh no. Honk! You're gonna lose! Dang it! Stupid curb. It's like big movies suck so much. Yeah, I think uh that's my main deal with like um the Marvel movies. They seem kind of like they're fun, right? Big budget kind of action special effects, like but there's not much substance there. To me. 
like it's almost the same with slapstick comedies like you get what you get out of it like slapstick comedies can be amazing but there's not gonna be substance there i'm not expecting a great story out of dumb and dumber but it is the best movie of all time oh what Why is that not counting? Is it? Oh, it's best trick. Ah, that makes sense. Oh. Oh, I just launched that guy. It was like barrel rolled him. Yeah, I heard Mandalorian was really good or is really good. I've never watched it. Apparently, like, the, the season finale or something was, like, hit everyone pretty hard recently. And I don't know anything about it. Thanks for weird and wonderful. Wait, we were weird tonight? We never get weird on this stream. Which part of it was weird, Nindorf? So I know to talk about it more. Okay, we're in a good way. Anyway, thanks for hanging with us tonight. Have a good one, dude. Hey, Honk, taking it home. Let's go. How do you, Honk? You think singer from Aerosmith stealing a fan is pretty weird? Okay, a cool story, right? Hey, another it had like my, I had like, hello, my name is 129G. That was like my number at the office when we moved to offices. And it was on the fan. So I could tell who's got my fan. And that fan is no longer in the office after they left. So. Thanks, Mr. Tyler. Oh. Oh my God, there's like nothing to skate. Okay, here we go. Simulation skate. talking about lead do i need to put you in timeout again is that a band or what is completely out of left field with that one i'm lost what the heck bobby god dang it The Stranglers? I don't know what that is. Is that a band? I don't know. Is it a TV show? I, I, you'll have to excuse me. Oh, Stranglers is a band. Okay. The the lack of capital letter at the bottom. Uh, uh, at the beginning. Threw me off. <laughs> That's a good impression. Thanks. I feel like I could do it sometimes, but sometimes it's really bad. Oh, most of the time is really bad. Turn down for what? For what? Ooh, barely got it. Nice.
Look at these little stylized drawings. Whoop. What? Isn't that working? Oh, there it goes. Oh my god. Alright, what's next? I've never heard the strain. I've never even heard of them. Or may maybe I've heard their music, but I don't recognize the name. Upstairs, 475 points. Wait, where are the stairs? Oh, there they are. Boom! Ah. Oh. <laughs> What's up, Dark? Did I have it work with Mick West? Yes, I did. He was one of the founding members of Neversoft. One of the three. He's a legend. Not clean, but I'll take it. Oh, you know which photo I'm picking. Go. Look at that honk. Ooh, mega ramp. Let's go. Uh, hello? Look at that honk. <laughs> Sorry, one second. in the mega ramp dude we're gonna have to that's where it gets I, that was like i feel like when i played this game briefly i just hung out at the mega ramp i don't I, I thought it was unlocked at the beginning or maybe i'm thinking of skate 3 or something but um or maybe it was online and it was unlocked there or something Ooh. Ooh. I do, I do, I do. Ooh, let's go. Hey, thanks for the 100 bits. Awful spit. <laughs> Sorry, chonky P Rod. Oh, street? Ah, uh, whatever. I thought I picked the mega ramp. I must have spaced. Knocked him over. <laughs> got him, coach. Just Nancy Kerrigan him. Oh, we got another one. Ooh, that was fresh.
Oh. <laughs> he just said, screw it, I'm out. Tanya Harding them. Yes, you're right. My mistake. I feel like I just watched a movie on that recently. I don't remember what it was called. Dude, Honk is crushing the competition right now. I played Thrasher yet? Yeah, we played last week. We'll uh, put it up on YouTube in a couple weeks. Hey, quick thing, my play with that fight. The Tanya Harding story. Yeah, like we played a bunch of random extreme sports games like back to back to back to back We had like a three-hour stream where we just had like a ton of them We probably should have made Thrasher its own stream, but still we haven't played grind session yet I remember that being really awful, but we could still give it a try We played like street skater um, Thrasher razor extreme freestyle scooter And what am I forgetting? There's a one or two more What am I doing? Oh, it's it's just the stair set. I was like, what am I doing wrong? Aggressive inline. Oh, maybe that was its only that was its only stream though. That one I feel like I was gonna put on YouTube, but I feel like um I was complaining a lot. I don't know if it'll be a good watch. Maybe it, I'm probably being overly critical. Oh, this is like a best trick thing, huh? I didn't even... Okay. Okay. Yeah, Street Skater was bad. It was literally... I didn't realize it. I played it back in the day, but I didn't put it together. But it's literally a Top Skater clone for console. Ooh, that was fresh. Whoops. Too critical you like that stream okay cool that's good to hear same with like project a i felt like i was am proving ground i just feel like sometimes my mood can really affect the quality um and also project Eight, the uh frame rate was pretty bad so i don't know it is what it be i'm probably just gonna release them anyway screw it Ooh, threw down a banger. Take that, deer deck. Oh, really? Man, I remember being so much better at aggressive inline. Like, it, I just picked it up. It was like exactly like Tony Hawk. And then when we played it again, I was just like, nothing was clicking. Yeah, for sure, Wax. That was fun. I was just working and lurking, and I was listening the whole time, pretty much. What's up, Dion? Yeah, we out here, man. We played it yesterday, too. This is a second um, uh, skate stream. I'm trying, um, try and finish it. Whoops. How's it going, Dion? Ooh. Did we throw down an 889? That's pretty tough. I wish I had the hang of 360 flips. I feel like I could do Nolly stuff way better than I can um regular. No, it was cool, Wax. It was a good stream earlier. 
for those of you who don't know um i think wax entered a contest is it or like a social media like a twitter contest like submit your song and mike from lincoln park will produce it and wax submitted his song and like mike was like immediately like yes and today on stream for three hours mike worked on wax wayne's song and it was really awesome to hear it's like a raw vocal only and uh piano and then mike just added drums and some synths and padding and bass and stuff it was rad it was cool it was a good song too like obviously deserved to uh get the attention and he was making it cooler for sure just typed a hashtag and that's all he had to do nice yeah honk get it boy these announcer guys must be actual announcers like the banter and the tone of their voice is like dead on if if they're not actual announcers or casters or whatever they got to be really good actors within a minute he's in your dms that's awesome that's awesome it's a small world we're all very connected. We're just one click away from a life-changing moment. All you have to do is just type that hashtag, right? Is a Slam City Jam? Uh, no. I mean, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't even know if this is based off a real spot or not. Oh. We got a minute to top TK. Oh, that didn't count. I think it wants us to trick on the ledges only. What's up, Carl Star? Ooh, not good enough though. Dang. These dudes are busting. Oh my God. Is there, I can't. Bailing is almost better. So it just like restarts you in the right place. But I, I'm trying to bail and I can't. Oh my god. TK's Terry Kennedy. Oh my gosh. Oh, dang, still can't throw it down. Honk is in last place. We got 12 seconds. Oh, we threw it down. Something. Oh my god. Go. Go. We got to get better. Oh, dang it, P-Rod. Cut us off. Oh, well, second. That's all right. Oh. Feels good, man. Okay, so let's let's mega ramp it. We gotta mega ramp before we before we sign off, because this is legendary. Oh my god, it's all the way down here. Yeah, this is PS3. Wait, is it behind me? What's happening? Oh, here we go. That's what. That's why I was like, wait. That's probably what happened originally. Like I selected the it just same spawn point. This is my first time playing video games. I'm sorry, guys. I just left. Case in point. Oh, do I go to the camera? Oh, here. Is this him? anyway it's got to be it no i didn't do anything to this config it's default dude look at this man let's go
what are we gonna do on this one immediately bailed what's he doing oh we're being ranked i thought we were just like have fun dude we got crushed any skate games i don't play there's a fair share of really awful skate games like skateboarding games rather <laughs> that would have been so sick All right, round three. We're gonna. <laughs> this is the one. <laughs> what is he doing? I didn't even. Round four, really, dude? What a waste. Can I retry? Okay. We gotta hit this. Hit him with the honk three sixty. <laughs> Come on, let me get another shot without this intro. Let's go. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, maybe, maybe not. Maybe we won't do the coffin back <laughs> Hey, Derek, thank you for the 500 bits, man. Appreciate you. Okay, let's just, I don't know, Christ air. Oh, that would have been fresh. I don't get quite how to, uh, or quite get how to flip or barrel roll. I think you just hold a direction while you're grabbing. Yeah, same Sebastian. <laughs> Wait, does this count to my run two? The after trick? The quarter pipe? Or is it just the ramp? Oh, I guess it does. <laughs> okay, it does. The Benny Honka? Nice. <laughs> okay, this is it. Man, I didn't realize this is gonna be so difficult. <laughs> what I don't, if you land from a super high uh, height, like, what do you do? Like, can, is he just gonna land all right? Oh my god. Like, I know I landed sideways there, but isn't there like impact? The nine hong. <laughs> nice. What's up, Bess? Oh, the music with this. Oh, dude, that was so legendary. The music kicked in right at that Christ air. Dang it. That was the dream right there. Oh, really? You could do a trick like right here? Tricking into the roll helps too. Dang, we're getting clowned. All right, honk, let's step it up. Let's do a front side nine honk trid. It's an original trick I just thought of right now without anybody else's help in the chat. Backside nine, nine honk trid, it's pretty good. 69. Nice. 
Okay, let's try it. Let's, let's do it to it. Come on, honk. Shoot. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Just like spamming the buttons. Oh my God. I was really trying to do a kick trick into a back football spinning and I ended up doing that. Whatever that was. Ooh, 1080, easy clap. That's what I do every morning before I get my first cup of coffee. I just do a, oh, failed. Where are the results? How far off? Oh, there we are. Dang, it's like that. All right, honk. This is it. Mid back, <laughs> I'm gonna sit down. Yeah, that's us. How many runs is it? Four, five? Oh, let's go. No fit air, 900. A granny hell, yeah, with the five gift subs. Let's go. Look, that's the reaction of us at the mega ramp right now. When we do a no hand, a no footed 900 or no handed, whatever, <laughs> you know what I mean? 900. Thank you, Granny. Appreciate that. Oh, dude. Sad. Mega sad. All right, we got to throw it down here. What is he doing? Pain. Dang it, honk. Come on, do I get one more run? That was the fourth one, right? No, that was third. what oh man i was like getting ready to grab the board after the flip trick and the board just kept going i was like oh <laughs> man okay so does it take the best two or three or just the best run i guess sad sad we might have to leave this for tomorrow or rather this weekend man should we do one more Frick. unamas all right let's do it oh wait i don't want to exit the x games i want to enter them We just need one good run. All the moss. What up, Nirvana? Try a flip as you drop in. Like a actual, not a flip trick, a flip. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Hold on. I feel like we could actually do it. Hold on. Oh my God, way too much. Okay. Chrysler and flip. I wish it was um that easy. Like if I could just do it, just do the tricks. <laughs> but I'm like, I just, I'm so new at this that it's not that easy for me. See, now I'm sideways for some reason. I don't know why. 
it takes the best run so i might as well not be retrying i think oh i tried to do a flip and it didn't work i'll let it run out because we're gonna have to finish all five runs so we're just one of these is gonna be the one All right, we're going to land this. He's not going to spin sideways. Sedge. Like, why does he keep rotating? Is it just because I'm like slightly veering to the left or right on my analog? I don't understand why he keeps rotating. When I'm just trying to fr like flip forward and that's it. <laughs> is this content? This is the fifth run. This is going to be the one. I can feel it. Just rotate sideways immediately. <laughs> I suck. I don't know, man. Like I'm looking at when I do up, that's what it looks like. That's the input. Down, up, down, up. What if I do a backflip? Nope, still sideways. You can spin while flipping, but like your trajectory is everything. You have to start spinning in order to spin. You can't late spin. I wish these, uh, time, the time in between runs is much shorter. Okay. Maybe no flipping. <sighs> Maybe go for a kick clip drop in. Oh, yeah, let's go. One of these is going to be good, and that's all we need. We just need one. Ooh, 98 points for a qu nolly quad heel flip. That was not that great. We could do better, honk. Is so bad i'm such a noob i can't do the tricks i thought we had it dang man contest failed All right, y'all. We went an hour and a half over our limit here, but I had a good time. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to try and squeeze in the stream this weekend. We'll see, but make sure you guys join the discord to find out when and where we're going online next. That's the best place to find out. Also Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. We're going to go raid somebody. I don't know because it's late and I don't know who's on right now. So why don't we uh, actually wait? 
now let's raid this guy let's raid this dude he's a uh, he's playing skater xl he's got 19 viewers seems legit i don't know but anyway yeah follow on all the socials make sure you like comment subscribe if you are watching this on youtube later but we're gonna try and finish up this game uh within another stream or two and we'll move on to the next game and uh yeah i'd love to see you guys there uh thanks everybody have a good one y'all